Good morning. Um, I'm called Florence Wanyenze, a teacher of uh, BEP, Bachelor of Entrepreneurship and Project Planning. I teach, I'm teaching this class, Entrepreneurship, and uh, today we are here to do a cultural presentation, and uh, what we are majorly going to do is to draw a relationship between our different cultures and how our culture influences business. And we'll be telling all of you about the details about our culture, who we are, where we came from, and how what we are is influencing business. There are different groups of people uh, that are going to be presenting, and I request that we all pay attention and just enjoy the presentation. Thank you. We shall start with the Banyankole. And right now, let me just call them up. Please come up. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kankunda Shila, and we are presenting the Ankole culture according to business. So culture are the ideas, customs, and, and different idea, there are different ideas of a certain society. And uh, us, the, the Banyakole, are, are in two groups, the Bahima and the Bayou. So, uh, we are located in the southwest of Uganda, and uh, we keep the longhorn cattle and the and other the other type uh, is into farming. Yes, I think I can call the other person to talk about the uniqueness of the culture. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. I'm the Tereo Joshua. Um, we are to discuss how culture is unique from others. First of all, for us as, as Wanyankole, we, we have different ways of, our, our way of, of greeting is different. Our way of greeting is different from other cultures. For example, when you are going to greet like an elder person, you say, I can call it Mbai. I can say Mbai, when, when, when he or she is, is old. And my fellow, and my fellow brothers, one, one that we are on the, same, on the same age, I can say Oreyota, which means how are you? Mm, another one, the way of, of speaking is different from other culture, other tribes. We have different ways. Of, we have a way of speaking, which is not like yours. I mean, other cultures. <laughs> the Rango, the Achori, the Waganda, and so many <coughs> others. Uh, another way, the way of the way of life. For us, we use it to keep long hand cattle. And I think other 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 cultures, they don't they don't keep those those long count of cultures. They are for the Wanyankole. But nowadays, each culture has another one. We used to drink fresh fresh milk, not tea. We used to, we used to drink fresh milk, which is different from other cultures other tribes. Uh, another thing, another way of uniqueness is that we used to, when we are going to, to marry, the, the, blind, the, the, the blind price, for us we, we give cows, that is our blind price. I go to the, fa the father's girl and I give like 
10 cows or two, so as to marry that girl. Another one is the, the, the singing of folk song. We have, have very many ways how we can sing those songs. I think we shall come to that one, have our main song to sing. The way of, let me call my friend to talk more about Soko Foods. Called Michelle William. I'm going to talk about our stable foods. So our stable food is uh, millet bread, which is called kalo. Uh, they prepare it. They put it in the basket. Sometimes they make pieces of it to make it to make it easy for the people to share. For example, if we are many. For example, in the in this room, yeah, they 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 put them, they make very many pieces and they put them in their baskets. Then, but before that, uh, following our ancestors, who was Kakama. By that time, Kakama used to feed his children on milk. So by that time, our milk was that most favorite table food of Banyankore. Even still now, hmm, if you go to western part, like in Banyankore, the first thing you can take is milk, meaning that's the stable food for ours. Thank you very much plenty. for listening. It was once the main source of food for the family. We visited the home of Robin Akanche, who is schooled in Ankole cultural practices. These are traditional food for the family. We as in milk is in plenty. It was once the main source of food for the family. We visited the home of Robin Akanche. So, the video you're tapping, it's, it's trying to explain eh, about the milk. Eh, that it's the most stable food of Banyankore. I think I think Okay, about the dress code let's have another one to talk about the dress code. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm called Karanga John. Yeah, I'm from Western Uganda. I am from Tiruhola, one of the districts in Western Uganda. I'm here to talk about the Ankole dress code. Uh, here, people are dressed okay according to their ranks. Eh? Uh, we look at the chiefs. Okay, we had three classes of people. We had the uh, the kings, we had the chiefs and the local people. So the chiefs and the kings wore robes of long, of long, uh, long robes of cow skins. Eh? As in right nowadays, uh, we we are more into Western culture, so that's why we've changed to cloth stuff. So the the, the, the skins, as in after a cow was slaughtered, it was laid on sunshine. It was laid on sunshine to dry. Then after drying, then the, um, the skin was cleared. Then that, uh, that back of it, that's what people used to put on. Uh, then women uh, wore cow skins wrapped around their bodies. Eh? Around their bodies. If I can demonstrate uh, to my friend here. So, you get like this, eh? Just be like that. Okay, it used to be wrapped around their bodies. Like, there was no any other thing she used to put on, uh, wrapped around their bodies, and they w you walked barefooted. And uh, then men wore uh, suits, as in that present day, as in when we are in our uh, 
marriage, wedding parties, that's why we put on. Um, Uh, we, we talk about the cultural practices and norms. Here, we, in Western Uganda, we have two groups of people. We have the Beiru and the Rahima. Now, for hunting, uh, the Beiru are the ones who were responsible for that. They were the ones who carried out hunting. They used to go to the fields. Uh, they had spears, bows, arrows, and they had trumpets they blew, as in, t as in when the animal was was seen, that's why they used to communicate to other people. Uh, cattle railing, as you can see, the long horn, the long horn cattle were reared by the what? By the Bahima. Um, and these people, they loved them so much. Uh, according to the number of cows you had, even present day, that's the respect you earn from the what? From the community. Uh, one is given respect according to the number of cows he has, then uh, the proverbs and riddles. Uh, we have the one which says that mm, I'm going to talk it in my local language. Maybe some other person is going to demonstrate. Okay, I will do both. Uh, there's a riddle which says, "Naate makat karara karara nkazi gara igaro antam ko antam ko yamporo orona harwar koko war koko yampi furi ifuri na harwa na abana na ba ba mpakasa kasa na kazi." So it means that mm, then, uh, according to inheritance, uh, the eldest man, the, the eldest son of a man's wife, was the one supposed to inherit the property. Uh, he took, well, okay, he took the throne. Okay, the responsibility of the dad. Uh, he owned the cattle. He slept where the dad used to sleep. That means if the mother that gave birth to him died and the dad died, so he was the one to inherit the what? The woman, the second woman of the what? Of the dad. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Kamkama Desire. I come from Chirhura, I'm also in Nyankore. I would like to talk about uh, mainly the origin of the, the Nyankore. Um, before, Nyankore was called Karukarunji, it was, which means peaceful county. Um, it was always peaceful and even up to date, still peaceful. Then also it was known as Nyankore before. Uh, but, but now it is called Ankore. And mainly the, the Banyankore, according to the current population, they are the second to the Baganda, with a, with a percentage of which I can't estimate very well. And also another thing <laughs> is that Ankore, uh, the, their supreme god was called Ruhanga. And even up to now, Ruhanga means God. And he had three sons. The first son was called Kakama, the other one was called Keiru, and then Kahima. And the three sons were given a task. Which task? Uh, Kairu was, well, they were all given milk. As you have heard, milk was the staple food those days. Kairu was given milk, and, and, when, and when Kairu was given milk, uh, the, he drank all the milk and finished it. And Kakama was also given milk. That one poured it away. Then Kahima drank and left it halfway. That is why currently the Bayru mainly carry out cultivation. In other words, peasants. Then the Bahima also carry out cattle keeping as, as an occupation, just like 
just, just like it was illustrated when, when Kahima was given milk and drank it and left it halfway. And <clears throat> Ankole originated from the Chwezi dynasty whereby they were Chwezi by that time were the people who, who came to East Africa and they could disappear whenever they could get annoyed. Uh, by the way, I forgot to talk about it. The origins of the Ankole kingdom are not clear. But they are instead based, based on the myths and the legends. And uh, the groups of, one group of historians talked, said that the Banyankore originated from the Chwezi dynasty and among others like that. And then um, the Banyankore are found, they spread to various areas in the country, that is Wushenyi, Ntungamo, Chiruhura district, among others, where they currently live to date. Members, that's what I had for you. Let's welcome the next speaker to say what he has. In our culture, we have what is called Okugambente. So let me invite John and Joshua to come and help us in this. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry if I would be fluent enough. Okay, we'll wrap. Yeah? That is our wrap. Um, Pretty <coughs> Kodo <laughs> We also have what is called Okuvuga. Before they start singing a traditional song or a song that is sung on the traditional wedding, there is what we call Okuvuga. Let's play for you the video. <laughs> Then we have the traditional dances. My name is Kemgisha Marilyn. I come from Okonjiri district. I'm here to talk about the dances. We have one dance that is held on traditional weddings, which is the Kwevka. Then also, the other dance is the Chitaguru, which we are all going to show you. Thank you.
you. As you have seen our presentation, it was mainly about culture relating to business. So that was our different culture. Now we are going to get what we do in our culture and we relate it to business. For example, we talked about the Abahima looking after cattle. We can as well get the cattle and in looking after cattle, we get money out of it because if we sell the cattle, we are doing business. The part of milking the cattle, we sell it and still get money out of it. And in that milk, if you looked at the first video, there's a woman showing us how they can preserve the milk. So we can preserve the milk, make ghee, make butter, and all that can be used in business. We have weaving, we weave baskets, and there are some hats that they can still make. Then where we put our color, it's called a chivo. Even that, we can still weave it and make, and make good business out of it. We have local beer. There is the beer that we make out of our legs and it's from the banana leaves, banana plantation. We have the bushera. Bushera, we have part of HT Rita and then the mugusha bit of it. All that, we can use it and innovate it and make good business. That is our presentation from the Ankole culture. <laughs> 